How are you guys? This is IBU Learning, the place to develop your academic skills. Autodesk has launched Revit 2023 newly. Now you can get it from Autodesk website. After exploring this new updates of Revit, I am here to show with you top 5 best new features which you will be definitely like it. So here you go. I have already Revit 2023 open. Now I'm just going to open the simple architectural project. Once it's open, you will see that we have first project browser. And you can see this is brand new icons are there. Some of the it's showing that uh, blue highlighting and some of the white. If you will go to see the any plan sheet and you can see level 1, 2 is here. Both is showing blue. If I delete this, see it's going to be white. So it means that blue tick mark is showing that which views is placed on seat it is blue check blue color which one is not placed in the seat it, this is white okay if i just drag here again and place here you can see again it's changed If you will go to just uh, click on the project browser and here you can see show view placement on seat. If you uncheck this option, you can get it the same like a previous version of the project browser files. This uh, uh, new check mark has gone. Once you will activate it, just check then you can get it. Second, if you select this one and you can see here in modify tab, this new positioning and view option is popping out. If you want to just click here, you can go and you can see this view approach and from here, these views are not placed in any seat. So you can go and choose anyone from here and you can place it. So you can, this is the also new feature. You can, inside the seat, you can swap the view. Even you can change, you can search it, level two, and you can change it. Sorry, I should change this one to level 2 and this one to level 1. Just take undo. And this one is, I just search again. So this is very easy and quick. So this is very helpful, I found. So again, I press the same. You can see this sticker mark and everything is place now just I'm going to delete this and I'm just going to show you the third uh, features new features what I found useful I just go to make new seat new blank seat and then I can go and place this level 2 plan here in the new sheet okay And now I'm going to schedule and quantities. I just make door schedule. And here I can go to give some parameters, mark, door length. Door height. So door height and door width. 
just I give normally this filter I don't need to apply anything I can just shortening I can do it from the mark and uh, okay so this is my schedule just let me go and place in the both seat so I have level 1 seat I just go to place this door schedule here and I have another level 2 I just place this schedule here now you can see side by side WT window tiles you can use this shortcut key to see side by side both the schedule you can see both is same both are same there is no different but if I will just go to edit go to edit field and go to filter and you can see this filter by sheet this is the new option you can choose it select ok you can see the main schedule this one is open in the schedule this is that if you go to plan this is second floor uh, first floor plan sorry and in this sheet you can see the schedule is changed our main schedule is the same this one and then in the this area seat whatever the door is coming this is the schedule automatically updating and second floor also if you will go you will find this you cannot find this same schedule a same mark here same doors so this is very useful also for the uh, schedule and quantity next I just go to close on all view ok and then I will go to show you the another option if I will go to 3D and then just I go to give the some spe uh, specific area 3D by using section box you can see there is the new active control and dimensions these options if you hover over there this is showing that how it is working this is also the new option so once you will selecting this once you are selecting this curtain walls you will see there is no anything I mean this is looking neat and clean ok selection but once you will just activate this and you will select this you can see all the pins are popping out so in this case our previous Revit was same like this this is this was active and once you are selecting anything or like a curtain wall or something all this curtain grids and everything pins was just showing and which was making our model performance like uh, slower now in this option and this uh, new Revit once you will just deactivate this and select this is not going to show you that uh, pins or other uh, I mean uh, temporary dimensions or something it's so this is neat and clean uh, I mean a selection and this will be performance will be also very uh, we, I found that uh, it is uh, very good so this is another option is very I mean uh, useful just uh, I will show you another one more uh, new features uh, what I just uh, I mean uh, uh, like that one just I go to disable section box and uh, just you will go to the work plan there is new features added in the work plan this all item you can see options showing here is same like a previous uh, uh, Revit you can find on the previous version also the same but here you can see this one little icon is showing once you will go you, you have find option pick a plan okay 
before I mean what we are using that if you need to uh, make anything in the 3d like if you are in the 3d and you have to make a, any extrusion or any model in place something or even you have to make the dimension here so you can see dimension is coming here but once you will just go to pick a plan and go to again to dimension and you can see you can give the dimension also in the 3d itself so this is very useful okay even if you have to make any 3d just go to pick a plan and pick any plan where you have to work okay and then go to model anything like a suppose generic model and then you can go to extrusion and you can extrude this if you want to make it something like this so this is very handy and uh, I mean useful uh, option also I found so just I mean uh, before it was like this you can go to set plan and then either you have to choose the name or pick plan from here and then you have to go to pick that one so I mean this was very handy and just go to quick just pick and select and you can do your work so these are the new features I just uh, I mean uh, it was highlighted me and then I found this was very useful okay just please do let me know if you find anything or uh, I mean uh, any suggestions uh, from you to please let me know thank you thanks for watching please subscribe for upcoming videos thank you